We're gonna leave the number. How can we say numbers even? Would it just be like two X? Yeah. We're gonna hold number. How can we say it's an old number? Two 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 x plus or minus one is star, right? But you only need two x plus one. Mm. So we're going to now what we're going to do is square it. So two x squared. So we're looking at the squares. The square of an even, the square of an odd. So x squared is seven. Square, which is two times two. I like to say two times two x squared. So I'll probably accept that you'll just say that's even. I'd like to say that. I would even go a step further and say, well, that's 2m, where m is an element of the integers. I'm probably being too thorough, even though you see me not be too thorough over the years. But they will probably just accept that. Now, when I'm marking your assessment and you say, oh, that's, uh, that's an even, so i.e. the same parity. So it was even, it's still even. I'll give you four marks. So two x plus one, Matt. Square it in your head. Two x squared is. It'll be four x squared. Yep. Multiply them and double it. Four x. Yep. Plus one. Plus one. So what have we got now? I could write this. This is where I'd like to write this two. This is where I go to what I was writing a moment ago. Ignore the one. It would be two two x squared. Plus one. So I would have liked to have written that's 2n plus 1. So it's one more than an even number. Though it's not going to be in the way, so I'm going to write it out. It's odd. Now what way is it odd? Yes, yeah, so it is one more than an even. I'm sure they say even number be a bit fussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Thank you. So, would you say, therefore, the parity stays the same? Yes? Yeah. 